Hi, David Searles here from Johnson Horn Auction Gallery in Goffstown, New Hampshire. Our October 5th and 6th uh, sale that's going to be held at the Radisson uh, has one of the broadest selections of jewelry that uh, we've had to date in one of our auctions. Um, we have lots of wonderful things, nice diamonds, uh, beautiful antique jewelry, some modern jewelry. Uh, this is definitely one of the sale highlights. This is an Italian micro mosaic suite. Um, that has micro mosaic of such fine quality that it appears almost to be painted, um, but it is not. These are individual inset pieces uh, that are placed into uh, into an array, and uh, then they, at the end of uh, placing all of these mini miniature pieces, um, they s they smooth out the entire surface, polish the surface so that you have a flat plane of uh, absolutely perfect micro-mosaic. Um, to execute micro-mosaic in portraiture is even more difficult. If we look at the lady's face here, uh, which we might be able to get a little bit closer on, um, every one of her features is uh, in micro-mosaic. The eyes are single pieces, the mouth is a single piece, and they're perfectly shaped uh, to create the look. Uh, the frames, as is typical with Italian construction, are 15 karat gold, uh, which is then uh, plated with uh, 24 karat gold. They would usually do a mercury gilding back in the old days. The earrings have had uh, new wire put on, absolutely as the originals were. In the process of doing that, though, they had to clean the gold. So the gold has a slightly cleaner appearance than the original patina that you see on the main frame here. But one could also um, have these gilt again, which might, uh, might make them appear a bit more like the original, particularly if you did a cyanide-based gilding solution. At any rate, it's a simply terrific set. It's in fabulous condition. We have one tiny little check on the edge of one of the pieces of onyx. Uh, the mosaics are complete, um, beautiful shape, pin almost two inches long, and uh, in its original box, or etui, as they would call it in France. This piece has a estimate range of forty-five to sixty-five hundred dollars, and we think there'll be many eager buyers for something like this. So that will be at our October 5th and 6th auction. Check out our online uh, presentation. As things come in, we keep adding things to the upcoming highlights. And then about a month before the auction, we publish the auction in its entirety, uh, we publish the catalog in its entirety on the website. And you can go through uh, piece by piece. You can look at multiple photos of everything from every angle and uh, blow them up on screen. All you have to do is uh, just uh, double click or tap on a photo and you will find uh, huge uh, photographic renditions of every single lot in the auction. Um, we have very few reserves in the, in the sale and uh, we, uh, we're proud to uh, execute any bids that you want to leave online. Uh, we execute them competitively just, just like you were there or better still come to the auction and uh, bid in person. But if you're all the way across the world, you can have confidence in uh, leaving bids on items and having them executed uh, just as if you were there. We have no sales tax in the state of New Hampshire, and our gallery has still no buyer's premium, which puts a very short distance between the, the uh, buyer and seller, and uh, we think that's a good thing. And all of our consigners do too. So, looking forward to seeing you October 5th and 6th. Again, uh, Jones and Horan Auction Company, www.jones-horan.com. Bye-bye.